もらった俺の必殺技あと2What's going on, my geeks? I'm Kako Yotaku, and welcome to Home Base Serenity, where today we're celebrating the second birthday of Fortnite Save the World. To celebrate this, Epic has decided to replace the current sci fi llama that you can open for 500 summer tickets with the new birthday llama, the year two birthday llama. Which will cost 1,000 summer tickets each. The year two birthday llama will contain heroes and weapons that have been released in the second year of Fortnite Save the World, and you are guaranteed at least one event weapon schematic and one event hero schematic, and at least one of them will be legendary with the chance of mythics for heroes. So that means the new birthday llamas will contain the new heroes and weapons from last summer, the newer content from Fortnite Mares and Frost Knight, as well as from the more recent Love Storm and Yarn. Are events. I'm not going to lie, this was actually disheartening to me at first because the hero I was hoping to have a chance at was Raven. Raven was released around the beginning of May in 2018 as a part of the Blockbuster event. Now, unlike some other heroes from that event, though, he has not been re released yet. Even if you don't like his perk for lefty and righty, it's really important for this hero to be re released because his team perk, Preemptive Strike, Which increases damage against full health enemies by 6.5% for each hero of epic or higher rarity with at least four stars, is an incredibly effective perk for anyone to have. So I was extremely disappointed that he was not going to be in this llama. Raven was the first skin I truly loved in Battle Royale. It came out just a few months after I started playing and I grabbed it immediately. It's still my favorite skin in all of Battle Royale to this day. I even have the Funko Pop of him on my desk at my day job. I was really excited to potentially have a chance to finally have this hero in Save the World. I'm not sure why Epic decided to keep those year one items out of this new birthday llama. There are a lot of us in the community who were not playing at that time, so it would make more sense to allow us all to have access to those items as well. They are giving us one year one birthday llama in the store for free, but still, I had hoped for more. Perhaps this means some of the items will be coming to the expansion area of the collection book at some point in the near future. I don't know. I mean, I hope they will. So, should I happen to get Raven from the one year one birthday llama, or if he comes to the collection book or the store so I can recruit him, I'll definitely be doing a special loadout video based around him. But luckily, there are still a ton of amazing heroes and schematics within these new birthday llamas. So, now I'm going to go over what I am most hoping to get from these year two birthday llamas. If you would like to know what all you should be looking for, check out Nihilek Dream's video where he ranks every item you could potentially get from these year two birthday llamas by level of importance. I've linked it in the description below. So, my top three hopes for what I want to get on the weapon side of things I want to get another hemlock. I have one in the book because initially I didn't really like the spread on the weapon, but I do want to give it another chance. And the one I have in the book has the best final perk. I do also want to get all three weapons from the cram session the Ratatat, Lead Sled, and Rat King, because I have heard great things about all three of them. From other players and content creators. Since that's an entire set, I'm gonna count it as one. Skipping over to the road trip set, another that should be at the top of everyone's list if they don't have it already the bundle bus. Now, this is one that so many people swear is one of the best assault rifles in the game, and I have seen it put out insane levels of damage, so I definitely want one of these for myself. Also, on my personal list that might not be on others is an honorable mention the typewriter. I know it's not the Best, but it's one I would personally love to have. Funnily enough, I had a random player using Raven give me one of these in a mission once when I was not that far into Plankerton, and I still have it in my storage. Now I want to quickly mention the top three heroes that I want. The first is obvious, as anyone who does not have him should hope to get Tactical Assault Sledgehammer. Many have called him the best soldier in the game, and I am definitely keen to try him out in my main soldier loadout. Up next, another I feel I want to try out in my favorite loadouts Whiteout Fiona. Her perk is amazing as commander. 
but I want to try her out with my Harvester Sarah and Swordmaster Ken loadouts. Lastly is Redline Ramirez, because she adds extra damage to snipers, and I'm loving the Boombo Sniper right now. There are other weapons and heroes I'm hoping for, but those are the ones that are the most important to me. Now before I start opening, I want to explain why I'm going to open them the way that I am. I have been told that duplicate protection works the best when you open each llama one at a time, rather than buying all of the llamas at once. So I will be opening each one individually, and I'm going to fast forward through the first few cards to get straight to the event cards. So with that out of the way, let's go in and open 35 of the year two birthday llamas. All right, so here we go with the first of my year two birthday llamas. Let's see what we get. Let's get past the stuff in the beginning, like I said. Okay, so I got a rare infiltrator kin and a copper spyglass. Definitely needed both of those, for the book at least. So we'll see what I get next. A Copper Dragoon and the uh, the legendary infiltrator Ken. Okay, so I've got both of those now Gotta love the classics. What do we got next Okay, so rare first shot or sorry epic first shot Rio and legendary Sir Hootie both of those I did need for the book So so far nothing absolutely amazing yet that I you know stuff not anything that I really actually really need just stuff that I need to put in the book so that's good all right the candy corn LMG great I'm glad I got that all right so now I've got a choice between Redline Ramirez which is one of the ones I wanted the most from this or bomb squad Kyle and just to make sure that I get what I actually want from this I'm going to go with Redline Ramirez. I do still want Bomb Squad Kyle, but this one's more important than I get. That one was great. I loved that one. So here we go with the next one. Let's see what we get from this one. All right, so we get an epic choice of a, a Copper Old Betsy or a Copper Duelist. Uh, I'm going to go with the Old Betsy on this one, I think. They're both things I need for the book, but the old Betsy's a better weapon. And was... Oh, Mythic! Dire! Yes! So I've got Dire now. Fantastic. That's one of the ones I was hoping to get. It wasn't in my top three, but I did get it, so that's what matters. Alright, let's see what's in the next one here. We get an epic choice. Between Wild Fragment Deadeye and Vintage Tech Penny. Now I do need both of these for the book, so I'm going to go with, I think, the penny. And, it, and an epic defender. And the rat attack, yes. So that was the, the pistol that I wanted the most, I think, from these llamas. So that's awesome to get. Go ahead and open up the next one here. And fast forward through. Okay, we got the Recon Scout Eagle Eye. Yes, White Out Fiona. Yes, and the Frostbite. I know not a lot of people are going to be happy about that one because people don't necessarily like that weapon as much. But I think it looks kind of interesting. So it's at least good to have to put in the book, if nothing else. So moving on to the next one. So, so far I've gotten two of the legendary heroes that I wanted out of my top three. We'll see if I get the third one at some point. What do we get here? And the typewriter. Yes. Okay, great. So that's definitely another weapon I was hoping to get. So far, so good on these. Uh, I've gotten a lot of what I was hoping to get so far, at least from the top. I don't think I've gotten any of my top weapons yet, but we're getting there. So the copper fishing hook, I did need that for the book. And I got a legendary choice now. But between Sanguine Dusk and Plague Dr. Igor. Now, I didn't really play much during last year's Fort Nightmares, as I've said before on the channel. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I don't really necessarily want either of these to use, but I will pick Sanguine Dusk, I think. And so moving on to the next one. And fast forwarding. 
All right, so now we've got the epic Sir Hootie and Bomb Squad Kyle. So I made the right choice earlier with Red Line Ramirez because now I've got Bomb Squad Kyle. So that was definitely the right choice earlier. Careful with that axe. Up next, still have about 25 more to open. So we're about 10 in or so. Oh, yes! <laughs> I can't believe I fast-forwarded through that. Uh, but it doesn't matter because I got Tactical Assault Sledgehammer, the soldier I was most wanting to get from these. So that's great. And I did get a Copper Ghost Pistol. I know this is kind of a meme, but it's still kind of interesting to have, at least for my collection. Moving on to the next one. And I've got a Copper Duelist. And what's the legendary? It's a choice. Between Sentry Gunner, Earhart, and Vintage Tech, Penny. Now, I've got the... If I remember correctly from earlier, I do believe I got the purple Vintage Tech Penny, the Epic. So I can flux that up if I need to. Uh, I know I don't have Sentry Gunner, Earhart in the book, so I'm going to go ahead and get her. That'll be good to place in the book. And going on to the next one. I'll tell you right now, my collection book is going to level up so much after today. I've already got it pretty high. Oh, oh, okay, Plague Dr. Igor. So I made the right choice earlier. And the Copper Lead Sled. Sweet. All right, great. So that's two of the three weapons from that set down. All right, so on to the next one. And a Crossbones Barrett. We already have this in the book, but that's fine. And a Walloper. Okay, I did not have that in the book. That'll be good to have. Actually, I don't even know if it's e if it can be put in the book or not, but if not, then it's still good to have. What you chopping? Opening up the next one. Let's see what we get here. Alright, and Swashbuckle Keel Hall or Sergeant Winter. I have both of these in the book already so it doesn't really necessarily matter which one I get uh, I guess I'll just go with keel hall and then an epic defender and what's the last one and the coco 45 I'm pretty sure I missed that when it was out originally so that's great to get that now moving on okay, okay. Here's the pitch. all right so on to the next one again I think I'm I'm really happy so far with what I've gotten from these llamas uh, I had a lot that I needed, so it's not going to be much duplication. Okay, now I don't need the Legendary. And I got the Yeoman. Okay, great. That That is another one I wanted to get from this. So that was a great Llama because I did get the Yeoman, and I've got the Legendary Vintage Tech Penny for the book, so I won't need, be, need to be using any Flux. Got about 19 more to go. And we get an Epic Choice. Between Swashbuckler, Keelhaul, and Sergeant Winter, again, uh, I think the choice is going to be obvious this time. I'm going to choose Sergeant Winter just for the sake of showing something different. And the legendary is the Rat King. So, yes, I got all three weapons that I wanted from that set, from the Cram Session set. Okay, up next, we'll see what we get from this one. And we got the the rare vintage tech pen or epic vintage tech pen and a six feet under. Okay, great. That's definitely something I didn't have before. I know I can put some movement speed on that and maybe use that to, as or maybe use that as part of a farming build. So that might be interesting to do. Oh, and a legendary cottontail eagle eye. I believe I already had this one, but that's great. And a dragoon. Okay, great. I did want to actually try out the dragoon, so that's going to be interesting to get. So on to our next one here. And a Copper Bon Voyage. I did already have that. What's the legendary here? We get a choice between Privateer Hype or Wild Fragment Deadeye. Now, I do already have Wild Fragment Deadeye in the book. And I believe I already have Privateer Hype in the book. Uh, so this is kind of a... Yeah, I do I actually have one of them already from what it says there. So I'll just go ahead and do the Wild Fragment Deadeye again just, to, just for the sake of having something different. All right, up next, we've got another llama down here. I think we got about maybe 15 or so more to go. 
So we're halfway there. I got a copper basilisk. That's good. I get a choice between an epic outlander and an epic ninja. I think it's going to be obvious which I'm going to choose. I pretty much favor the ninja class, so I'm going to go with that. And what are my choices there? What are my choices here? Between Energy Thief Mari and Shuriken Master Sarah. I already have both of these in the book, so I'm just going to go with the Sarah. Because I always love the Sarahs, especially Shuriken Master. And what's the legendary here? A choice between Swashbuckler Keel Hall and Privateer Hype. I can see I have one of each of them, so it really doesn't necessarily matter which one I pick. I'll just go with the Keel Hall. Because again, it's a ninja, and I do love ninjas. So I didn't really get much of anything that I needed from that one. Uh, but still, so far, this has been a it's been a really successful opening. Uh, hopefully that will continue. Oh, straight to Legendary, Jolly Headhunter. Okay, I did already have that. Okay, last word. That's something I definitely needed. That's, I've heard a lot of great things about that as a pistol, so I'm anxious to try that out. So we've got 13 more to go. All right, let's see what we get. And a drifter. I did not need that, I don't believe. I believe I have that set complete already. And a redline Ramirez, so I got a second one. So I, that's one to keep in one for the book. Ooh, someone means to All right, next one up. See what we get from this one. And straight to legendary, Dashing Hair Ken. Okay, so I do already have one of those and a Sir Lancelot. I believe I already had the Sir Lancelot. Uh... But it's good to get another Dashing Hair Ken that I can put in the book because I do already have one of him. So that's that's definitely good to have. I'm, li I'm liking that a lot. Alright, the next Llama. See what we get from this one. A Copper Duelist. And a Legendary Choice. Between Plague Doctor Igor and Tactical Assault Sledgehammer. So I have one of each already. And Plague Doctor Igor is going in the book. So, I'll go with Tactical Assault Sledgehammer, so I have one to keep and one to put in the book. That's definitely the smart decision to make there. Alright, now moving on to the next one. Getting close to only about ten left or so. And so far, I'm pretty happy. There's still some stuff I want. Okay, I got a Copper Swan. I think the biggest... Oh, Mythic Field Agent Rio. Yes. Okay, glad I got that one as well. So, yeah, that was actually, that was 10 left, so I'm on number 9, or I'm on the ninth one now, so after this there'll be 8 more left. I still need to get a couple more Mythic Heroes, I still need to get a Bundle Bus, uh, so we got a choice here between Buccaneer Jonesy and Vintage Tech Penny. I already have both of them, I have him in the book, but I'll go ahead and get him since I have two of the others. And let's see what's up next. And a Copper Duelist Legendary. Okay. So I definitely am still hoping I'm going to get that bundle bus. I think that's the, the biggest thing right now that I need to get out of these. Buccaneer Jonesy I already have. And an old Betsy. Okay. Welcome. Moving on. We have seven more left. And let's see what we get here. Legendary Thunder Thora. Okay, I already have her, obviously. And a Bundle Bus. Yes. Okay, great. That's awesome. So the Thunder Thora will, will be good for the book because I already have her in my Constructor Loadout, as you should already know from watching videos on the channel. She's in my Mega Base Kyle Loadout. And now I do have the Bundle Bus. So that's awesome. I'm glad that I got that. All right, so six more to go, and I think I've gotten most... I think I've gotten all of my top three now that I wanted with my weapons and heroes. Got all the cram session, I got the bundle bus, and I got the typewriter. So I think I've gotten everything. Uh, oh, no, I haven't gotten another, another hemlock, but I've got a, a fishing hook here. Uh, so I think that's the only other thing that I need weapon-wise is I would like to get a hemlock that I can put in the book so I can pull the other one out. But I have gotten all the heroes that I wanted, so let's see. If, okay, Cloaked Shadow. I already have him in the book. A Copper Spyglass. Okay. So I think at this point, the only thing that we're looking for is just a legendary hemlock. And with all the stuff I'm getting, if I don't happen to get it, I'm probably still going to pull the one I have in the book out of the book and just... 
and just deal with it. Hopefully, I'll get one sometime before the birthday llamas leave again. Or I just got a legendary or a... Uh, or I just got an epic one here, so I'm gonna get that just in case I don't get another legendary because I can absolutely I can absolutely flux that one up. And now we've got a legendary choice here between a Thunder Thor and a Dashing Hair Ken. And you'll see I have two of each, so it doesn't necessarily matter which one I get. Um, I think I'll go with Thunder Thora because she she is just incredibly effective, one of the best heroes to have in a constructor build. All right, so we got three more left. Three more chances in this opening to get that legendary hemlock. The Copper Smasher Basher, I definitely already have that. So we got a choice between Cottontail, Eagle Eye, and Ice King. Now, I do already have Ice King in a loadout, but it would be great to have him in the book, so I'm going to go with him here. All right, two more chances. We definitely want either a mythic hero or a legendary hemlock. Preferably, actually, the mythical, the mythic heroes, because I can always flux up that other hemlock. So we got a crossbones Barrett or a jolly headhunter. I'll get the jolly headhunter. I'm pretty sure I already have that one in the book, but I'll get it anyway just for something different. And another rare choice here. Sorry, another epic choice here. Between a sniper and a rifleman, I'll go with a sniper. I don't really need either of them, but I'll, that's what I'll go with. And legendary copper two-step. Okay, that's something I already had, but that's still good to get. All right, and so this is the last of the birthday llamas for this video. As of right now, the biggest things that I could want are, as I said, the legendary hemlock that I haven't gotten Although I can just flux up the epic one that I got a moment ago. Or any of the mythics that I haven't gotten. Uh, the one I would want the most I think is Quick Draw Calamity. I still need to get that one. If I happen to get a mythic hero, that's the one I really hope I get. If not, I'm sure I'm going to be opening up several more of these birthday llamas over the next two weeks. But let's go ahead and open this last one and hope that I get what I'm wanting. If I don't, I may find a way to get some others or get a few more tickets and open one more for this video. So let's see what we get from this last one. This potential last one. All right, so let's see what we get here. Straight to a legendary, and if we get a choice, between a privateer, hyper, sanguine, dust, I already have both of those. So it's not looking good for getting a mythic hero from this one. I don't know if I can get two heroes necessarily. I got a mythic choice again, or sorry, a legendary choice, between a cannonade and a bowler, both of which I have in the book. So this is this is kind of a disappointing one. Um, I guess I'll go with that one. Go with the cannonade. Okay, so all in all, that was a very successful opening. After going through everything more thoroughly, there are now less than 10 items that I still need from these birthday llamas. The most important of which to me is still that quick draw calamity mythic hero. I hope you all had openings that were just as successful. And so begins the grind. We now have two weeks to get everything else that we might want from these birthday llamas before they go away. As always, shout outs to my favorite Save the World content creators, Latana, Demon Joe France, David Dean, Tori X, Aiden Harris, Rounded Tic Tac and Nilek Dreams. Keep up the grind and keep putting out amazing content. Thanks again for watching everyone. Happy birthday Fortnite Save the World and stay cool geeks. Have a great day.